Welcome back to another edition of At Home with Winning Appliances. I'm Bronte Culinary Expert and today we're in the Siemens kitchen. Today we'll be making a simple scone recipe in our Siemens oven with the 4D heat with added moisture. All of these ingredients you probably have in your pantry already. It's a great activity for you and the kids to get involved with in the school holidays or if you're stuck at home. We'll start with 350 grams of self-raising flour into a medium-sized bowl. We'll then be adding two tablespoons of caster sugar half a teaspoon of salt and just whisk that together to make sure the sugar and salt are mixed through the flour. Next we'll be adding 100 grams of cubed butter. This is a little bit above fridge temperature so I brought it out about five minutes ago just so it's not too soft and not too cold. We'll be pouring this in and rubbing that in to the flour until it resembles a sandy sort of mixture. The reason we rub in butter is to sort of melt the butter with your fingertips as you're combining it with the flour. This is so that it doesn't get too gluggy with the flour if you were to melt it to ensure it comes together in the right consistency. We're going to be baking these scones in our Siemens oven. Siemens is a German brand and super well respected in Europe. Very technology focused. It's great for the home cook. This is looking pretty sandy. So we're on to the next step. Now we have 180 ml of milk and a teaspoon of vanilla essence. We'll just combine that in here and pour into the flour mixture. We'll then bring this together with our hands, not over mixing it, that's the trick with scones. If it starts to get a bit sticky, just grab some flour, some extra flour, and you can always rub your hands together to get all those sticky bits off. Dust the surface with flour and put your mixture onto it. Now we want it to bring it together into one mass. Again, not overworking it, be very gentle. I'll bring my tray over. I've lined that with some baking paper to ensure that we will not stick. Now that it's about 1.5 to two centimeters thick, we'll grab our scone cutter and cut our little individual scones. I like to put them next to one another so that when they rise, they pull each other up. We'll brush them with some milk, just for a little bit of color on the top. We've preheated the oven to 200 degrees Celsius on a fan force function with added steam at low level. The steam will ensure the scones rise beautifully as well as forming a beautiful crust on the outside. So let's pop these in. Whilst the scones are cooking, we're going to whip some fresh cream to serve them with once they're ready. So I've got our KitchenAid hand mixer and some thickened cream. We'll beat this until it starts to form firm peaks. And we're ready. Nice and thick. It's been 15 minutes and our scones are ready. So I'm just going to grab them from the oven. So I usually put on jam first and then cream, but everyone tells a different story. Oh, yum. There you are, homemade scones. Perfect for afternoon tea, morning tea, any time of the day. Follow us on Instagram or check out our website for more recipes like this one.